Now this will go down in history. No, I'm not talking about the 2020 presidential election waiting on the results. I'm talking about your boy, the Red Panda 315, making two videos in like a span of three to four days. I know, I know, I know. It's crazy to say the least, but this time we are going to talk about Joe Morgan. But before we get headed into that, there's a few things I need to talk about because that's what I have to do. First off, thank you guys so much for all the support on the last video. We talked about the 10th inning conquest and talked about a few things about the channel. Now, I hate always asking for subscribers, it makes me feel crappy, but. 97% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. It means only 3% of you are. Um, now, how bad is that? That's pretty, pretty bad. And so, um, you know, there's guys up at, towards the tops that complain about, um, you know, 40 and 50% not being subscribed. Hell, I got 3% that's subscribed. But, if you guys enjoy the content, you enjoy these MLB The Show videos, I'm going to hopefully branch out to Madden. Um, but if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you're still on the fence, take a few more videos, but definitely don't rule it out. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Joe Morgan. Now, unfortunately, 2020 baseball lost another Hall of Famer in Joe Morgan, another man who I... Didn't necessarily know too much about his career, but I knew he was a good man and a damn good ball player. Now, he only played second base in his 1976 MVP season, but Joe Morgan, who hit lefty and threw righty, uh, gets a 99 overall tribute card. And unfortunately, they don't really do the justice. 123 and 107 against right-handed throwers, 84 and 67 against the lefties. High vision, pretty high contact. He's just going to be hitting against right-handers. Um, really good fielding and really good speed. So what is Joe Morgan going to do for you? Nothing really except... We first have to note a few things. Now, obviously, the 10th inning program, Ken Griffey, is the um, reward. Joe right here completing him will get you 20 program stars towards it. Now, I know there's actually a lot of old-timers. I don't, you know, old-timers as in um, those who watch Joe Morgan play and who, you know, watch some of the 80s and 90s guys. So, this is a great opportunity if you are a fan of Joe Morgan or a fan of the Reds. You get to play with him, or maybe you just liked him in general. It's a cool opportunity. It's late in the year. A lot of people, you know, shouldn't be sweaty. This is the time to get the cards you want to play with and just enjoy the rest of MLB 20. Now, if you take a look at his weight at 155 pounds, in five foot seven, he is a tank. All right. If I'm playing football and I need an offensive lineman, I'm picking Joe Morgan. All right. Well, the tank Joe Morgan will help you out in the event that's going on right now, the little general. And by no, um, and no surprise, Joe Morgan fits into the literal general event because this was in memory of Joe. Not only was he less than six feet tall, but he was also weighed less than 170 pounds. Now, are there any good rewards? There is a uh, nice set headliners. You get trash can man himself, Jose Altuve. Tons of the show packs. You got a few ballins, five pack ballin, and you've got MLB the Show 19 finest 
Kirby Yates, and that's pretty nice card art. All right, 99 overall, four seam splitter, slider, two seamer. Not too bad. Has decent stats on him. Not too bad. You get some few ducks on the pond. You get a lot of ducks on the pond. You get a few elites, beach balls. If you grind all the way through, you're gonna get some heat. 50 pack bundle at 100 wins. All right. Whew. That does end. November 10th, we are at the 4th, so you're starting to run out of time. But, if you're good at the game, you won't have any issues. Now, how do you get Joe Morgan? Well, you traditionally, you do the traditional, you play the event, or the mi moments, and then you play the team, in this instance, the Red Zone All-Star difficulty. You play the Reds, that'll give you 8 points to complete all these missions, it would be 42. Unfortunately, they jip us, and you have to do eight missions this time around. Um, but as we scroll through, just get an RBI, hit a home run, win a game, three hits, two extra base hits, one extra base hit. If you start running through these, you don't have any multi-game moments. So it actually might save you some time if you can perform well. Now, we're getting kind of to the end of the video. So I want, do you guys want me to go over this World Series program? Please just let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to go through it. I think the card art's insane. I think the cards, as we highlight these two, these three, are really, really good. But all you gotta do is just let me know and we will go through it. I wanna take a look at Steve Pierce. Okay, never mind. If you guys want me to go through that, by all means, let me know. You want me to go through Extreme? I think I already did, but yeah, I can always do it again. Um, you want me to go through the 10th inning program, maybe the showdown with Ken Griffey, World Series update, like I just said. Um, there's the ranked seasons of Willie Mays we could look at. Just please let me know. Um, and it could just be a random video, like what were some of my favorite cards from the year, who I think is going to do well next year. All you got to do is let me know down in the comment section. Please let me know how I can do any better. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. They're both free. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Take care and stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe.